Hey, Mark King here, and this is a start from Infowars. Some stories are a bit dated. Um, it just it's just been in back burner. You know, I had uh, things to do, but let me not rant about my uh, my personal uh, things. Infowars: Twitter, YouTube permanent permit communist party misinformation while aggressively censoring Christians. That's absolutely true. Um, the technique here, what they do is that they tend to um, one of the communist techniques is that you take over something slowly. So the same concept here, what Twitter is doing is a, a mass banning um, people on the right conservatives. They're doing it slowly but surely in preparation for the election. Because if they did it all at once, people will catch on and people have uh, short memories. Or there's probably less reactions. Um, I'm not sure the psychological reason why, but there's less reactions to when you do things slowly. Alright, not all at once, okay? There's probably a psychological term for it, but um, I'm not too sure the name of it. Anyway, congressional uh, staffers describe Twitter as deliberate. Again, what can servers have to, in mass, leave Twitter, go to Gab, go to Parler, okay? What the president has to do, leave Twitter altogether, and you'll see Twitter utterly collapse, okay? Twitter actually needs the president, not the other way around. Anyway, the Washington Free Beacon just published the findings of investigation into America's social media companies, the handling of Chinese government propaganda. Okay, an investigation reportedly run by a House Foreign Affairs Committee. Rev. Michael McCall used uh, congressional resources to examine CCP figures used different platforms and what policies have each placed to mark information propaganda. Surprisingly, even the most stringent website handled the Chinese propaganda with a light touch. Again, they're all they're all wrapped up in communism, okay? The communists have been infected for about 50 years now, every facet of uh, the capitalist West. Okay, every facet of Western culture they're in, and they're in high ranking positions, okay? If you've ever seen um, those uh, movies, like when the aliens take over the Earth, the aliens are in, like, in high positions, because they're doing it for a, um, a long time. Now, view those things as kind of like, um, the wrong way is foreshadowing, of kind of like warnings of like, like you know symbolism what's really going on here uh twitter meme i refuse to remove even tweets with uh are patently false because they're again th the communists upset that they've lost brexit and they lost the last election okay they're being fully prepped for the next election and again i'll say it once in, in uh, from previous videos the the the, um, the media switching from the narrative of the blacks to feminism now, okay, just in time for the election, uh, and I can gather it's because Hillary Clinton is uh, going to run and everybody knows it, so it's time to make that switch. That's what I gather is going on here, okay? So this is actually from Zero Hedge. I'm going to get too much more into this. I'm going to tie this into a uh, former NFL star warns against the dangers of signing uh, Kaepernick, Kaepernick, affirmative action for a Marxist. Again, this is what this is. The guy statistically was a bad quarterback. I used to watch, um, I used to watch um, football, right? The media were hyper but it was really good. But when you actually look at him play, he wasn't that good. You know, and then, uh, yeah, this is a guy who was left off by the waist, the wayside, and adopted by his white parents. And the only reason he has anything is because his white parents gave him everything. This is not a stupid man. This is actually a bright man. He's just fully indoctrinated by the Marxists, okay? The communists. And anyway, former NFL player Burgess Owens says that the NFL, again, the NFL will probably attack this guy and defend this guy, okay? Uh, shouldn't I be strong with the signing uh, NFL quarterback uh, activist Kaepernick and he's, he's over the hill now too Owens who is running the Congress in Utah said special assurance that hiring Kaepernick would be affirmative action yes absolutely this is why I'm against affirmative action right again minority hiring affirmative action it, it, it was meant for the blacks and it was hijacked by the feminists two or three years later so this is why you have feminists in, in positions that don't be, belong in and this is kind of like why the black community is struggling the only, the only way for the blacks to seem to get ahead is if to be a female and black. Okay, and you see it in the um, in the scholarships and you see it in the, um, the hiring practices. You see it in the, in the authoritative places. This is why a female head of the household is always uh, destructive. And then you raise a, a child who doesn't know that he can be more destructive than his mama. 
right, what happens is that all of these boys in these urban communities see their female, um, their, 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 their parent singular, um, getting away with uh, absurd actions. And when they grow up, they think they'll get away with the exact same things. Not so. Society is harder on men. Okay, this is why it's hard for black men to understand, you know, black teens to understand. They, they don't have male leadership. Okay? Let me just read this quote. If it was a meritocracy, he would be, he would be, he would, he would not be out there. Any, that's where he should be. He would work hard. He would prove himself, yes. He wouldn't be taking someone else's position, absolutely. We're looking for further action for the Marxists, right? And this happens, right? When you give people things, they tend not to work hard. Okay? They're expecting. This is why the school system is a wreck. I've seen the school system. There are a lot of feminists in the school system. And they they kind of sniff out anybody who's not a um a natural ally if you get my drift. And they'll find ways to dislike you. They'll find ways to eliminate you. Again, the the least intelligent people of any company, any place, band together and they become the social justice warriors, okay? They become the communists. Okay. If we're going that route, we should also ask Tim Tebow. <laughs> That's right. A lot of things against Tim Tebow was because of his uh faith. Uh, probably his quarterback play, but hey, if team if Tim Tebow is out of the league, then sure should, should be Kaepernick. Because Kaepernick, statistically, I think was either slightly better or slightly worse than Tebow. Okay, right. Okay, yes, the NFL didn't like his essence. Didn't like the um, didn't like a, a Christian. Again, watch what's going to happen with Christianity. It's uh, it's going to be the next on the chopping block, and I think it's already started. Uh, I'll talk about that in another video. And let me just tie in one more thing. Um, no, I'll save that for the next video, I think. It's going to be talking about the, um, the destruction of um, culture. The continued destruction. Anyway, this was by um, The Blaze. And this is by Sarah Taylor. And the previous article was by Infowars. Um, Sense and Conservatives. And um, that's it. Yeah, safe subscribe. Thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. And uh, again, they're making that switch. Uh, be prepared. Uh, they're, they're switching from the blacks to the feminists. What I think is going on, they, they look at the numbers and they say Americans aren't with the Black Lives Matter people. They despise it. And uh, that's it. Bye. Take care.